जी सॉरी आवाज आ रही है ना ओके वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एल चेप्रा और एल चेप्रा में वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ पॉलिनोम अच्छा जी दिस इज बेसिकली कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स पॉली और दूसरे नंबर पे बेटा नॉमियल सो पॉली का मीनिंग होता है मैनी एंड नॉमियल मैथ्स में हम टर्म्स को कहते हैं ठीक है पॉलिनोमियल एक्सप्रेशन विद मैनी टर्म्स ओके दिस विल बी यूजली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई पी ऑफ वेरिएबल वट एवर अगर एक्स यूज हो रहा है एंड इन सम केसेज हम इसको एफ ओफ एक्स भी रिप्रेजेंट कर देंगे एफ ओफ एक्स भी कह देंगे ठीक हो गया सो so, इसकी जो स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म है वो हम लिखा करते हैं ए एन एक्स एन प्लस ए एन माइनस वन एक्स एन माइनस वन प्लस ए एन माइनस टू एक्स एन माइनस टू अप टू सो वन अ कॉन्स्टेंट अब इसमें सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो है वो ये है वे एन इज अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर वेर एन इज अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर दिस इज एन एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट जो आपको आना चाहिए जो आप पूछा जाता है और डिस्कशन भी होती है एन इज अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स क्यू प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स माइनस टेन ये एक पॉलिनोमियल है ठीक है इफ आई राइट पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस टेन सी दिस इज नॉट अ पॉलिनोमियल ओके ये पॉलिनोमियल नहीं है क्यों नहीं है ये जो एक्स की पावर है बेटा That is a negative value, ठीक है ना अगर आप इसको लिखो तो टू एक्स माइनस टू बन जाता है ना सो so, जो हमने कहा कि एन इज अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीचर देन सिमिलरली पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स फाइव बाई थ्री माइनस एट एक्स प्लस इलेवन दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ पॉलिनोमियल डन तो पॉलिनोमियल होने के लिए जो पावर है दैट मस्ट बी अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीचर ठीक है अब हम यहां पे डिस्कस करेंगे इसकी डिफरेंट टाइप्स बल्कि उससे पहले एक छोटी सी और चीज लिख लें डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल व्हाट इज डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल मैक्सिमम पावर थ्री एक्स फाइव बाई थ्री माइनस एट एक्स प्लस इलेवन This is also not a polynomial. Done? तो पॉलिनोमियल होने के लिए जो पावर है दैट मस्ट बी अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर ठीक है अब हम यहां पर डिस्कस करेंगे इसकी डिफरेंट टाइप्स बल्कि उससे पहले एक छोटी सी और चीज लिख लें डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल What is degree of polynomial? Maximum power of variable used in polynomial is called degree of polynomial okay this is called degree of polynomial okay sir ab dekhe p of x is equal to 0 ye ek special case hai we call it a zero polynomial it has no degree P of x is equal to five zero.
is a constant polynomial and we say that it has degree 0 kyunki hum hamesha 5x0 likh sakte hain theek hai next is p of x is equal to 2x plus 6 what it is we call it linear polynomial okay this is a linear polynomial and it has degree 1 and similarly ye chalta jayega kaam 3x square minus 6x plus 8 this is known as a quadratic polynomial and it has degree 2 next is b of x equals to 5x cube plus 4x square minus 8x plus 11. Now this is obviously cubic polynomial and it has degree 3 and so on. So these are basically polynomials or uh, degrees have degrees are basically maximum power used by a polynomial. Okay? Done? Yes sir. Okay, next heading is operations with polynomials. Okay. When we talk about operations with polynomials, we mean that how we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide to polynomials, right? How can we add, subtract, multiply, or add, um, or divide to polynomials? So, initially, uh, first of all, if we talk about addition of polynomials, So, 2x cube plus 6x square minus 6x plus 8. And second one is, suppose, 4x plus 8. So, when you add these two, you know, when you add these two, so what happens is, you see, uh, with what variables, 4x square plus 8x, Plus nine kar lete, okay. So we write two x cube plus six x square. Now obviously six x square term will be added to four x square. Like x square term is added or subtracted with x term. X square terms minus six x plus eight x plus eight plus nine. So that makes it two x square plus ten x square. Two x cube sorry plus ten x square plus two x plus 70. Now, this is how we do addition. Similarly, uh, the second one is how we do subtraction. So, subtraction of polynomial. So, similarly, if I have to Subtract 3x square minus 6x plus 8 minus 2x plus 3. So it goes 3x square minus 6x plus 8 minus 2x minus 3. Right? And uh, that is going to be 3x square minus 6x minus 2x plus 8 minus 3. 3x square minus 8x plus 5. So this is how we subtract two polynomials you want to note it down uh, no sir you can continue okay okay third one would be a uh, multiplication of polynomials so for example, you want to multiply 2x squared plus 6x plus 8 with x squared minus 6x plus 10, maybe. 
then the rule is you are going to multiply it in a conventional way, algebraic way, okay, and so on. So that is going to be 2x4 minus 12x cube plus 20x square, 6x cube minus 36x square plus 60x and then 8x square minus 48x plus 80 and you rearrange uh, for example x4 is only one term so that is 2x4 uh, then we have two terms with x square that is minus 6x cube then we have 20x square minus 36 it's 28 and minus 36 so minus 8x square and with x we have uh, 60 minus 48 that is equal to plus 12 x and at the end constant is I guess only 80. So that's how we do addition, subtraction uh, and multiplication of polynomials. Is that clear so far? Yes sir. Yes? Okay. Achha, ab hum, uh, the next thing is we are going to Divide. We, we're going to learn division of polynomials. Now, this is something important. Division of polynomials. So, in division of polynomials, uh, what we have is, you remember a uh, simple division, suppose when you are asked to divide. 28, sorry, 23 by 4, so you do 4, 5 is a 20, and then you used to subtract it, it's 3, so you used to write it in this way, that's 5 whole, 3 by 4, or 5 plus 3 by 4, right? Similarly, uh, in division, first of all, we're going to do, we're going to learn long division, okay? So, long division. Actually, how it works. So you would say divide x square minus 6x plus 8 by x plus 1. So what we do is we have x plus 1 outside and this is x square minus 6x plus 8. Now, in order to make this value, in order to cancel this value, first of all, I'll have to multiply x with x. To make it x square right and then this x value will be multiplied throughout this so plus x right now you change the sign basically you subtract it you cancel it out that makes it minus 7x plus 8 okay and then you have to multiply it with minus 7 we always multiply the leading value the leading term with a number to make the first term okay so that we may cancel it out by subtracting so that makes it minus 7x and minus 7 and then we have to change the signs basically we are going to subtract this one okay from the so minus 8 and then 7 15 now this is basically known as remainder right so this is how we perform long division this is known as long division. Okay. May I call question Kararo? So have a look. So uh, maybe we are asked to, you know, x cube plus 5x square minus 8x plus 12 is uh, divided by x minus 2 right so first of all what we have to do is you need a number which makes it x cube what would be the number Nilufar? it's going to be x square right you have to multiply this first value the x with a number to make it x cube so what is the suitable number what should be the number it is x square okay right yes, and then we have to multiply this x square with minus 2 that makes it minus 2x squared 
you change signs and that makes it 3x square minus 8x minus 2. Okay, now it's x and then I have to multiply it with 3x. So this is going to be 3x square minus 6x, right? And then you change the signs, that is going to be minus 2x minus 2 and you basically multiply it with minus 2 so that makes it minus 2x and plus 4 and again by changing signs that is minus 6 so this minus 6 is known as your remainder or ye yahan pe jo value aa rahi hai this is known as your quotient okay this value is your divisor and this value is your polynomial or dividend. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Jennifer, any 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 issue with this? No, sir. Okay. Now, after this, basically we are going to divide, uh, we are going to learn a uh, remainder theorem, okay? And uh, definition of remainder theorem is, that is another way of kind of division. So it says if, like let me let me use the same you know polynomials too x square minus 6 x plus 8 and x plus 1 so uh, remainder theorem says if any polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a then f of sorry p of a is remainder so that means if you are using this value okay I'm going to use it here okay now this was a polynomial right your polynomial was p of x equals x square minus 6x plus 8 and you are asked to divide it with x plus 1, right? x plus 1. So what we do is basically we put x plus 1 equal to 0, we find value of x, okay? And you substitute it here. So p of minus 1 would be minus 1 square minus 6 into minus 1 plus 8 so it is going to be 1 plus 6 plus 8 that makes it 15 so you can say that the long division se hua tha, okay the value the remainder you got by long division can also be obtained by simply putting uh, the value equal to 0 getting the value of x and going back and putting it in the original polynomial done it, yes, it's sir. the same so that's rather easier way uh, you can use any other example for example hum agar yahan pe ye that uh, let p of x is equal to x cube minus 6x square plus 8x plus 10 is divided by x minus 2 so find the remainder find the remainder okay what is x minus 2 must be equal to 0 so x is equal to 2 you're going to put this x is equal to 2 
in this original equation. So P of 2 is going to be 2 power 8 minus 6, 2 square plus 8 into 2 plus 10. Sorry, this is not 2 power 8, this is 2 cube. That makes it 8 minus 24 plus 16 plus 10. So that is 16 and 8 is 24 and 10. So this 10 is your remainder, right? This is your remainder. Is that clear? Any confusion? No, sir. Okay. Okay, here is another question. If polynomial is equal to x square minus 6kx plus 10 leaves a remainder uh, leaves a remainder of 20 when divided by x minus 1. Find value of k. Find value of k. Okay, how we are going to, you know, solve this question? We have polynomial given, we have uh, remainder given, and we have uh, expression just say usko divide kare. So, what do we have is p of x is equal to x square minus 6kx plus 10. So, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x equals to 1, you go back and substitute it here. So, p of 1 equals 1 square minus 6 k 1 plus 10. Now, remainder they have given is 20. So, you replace p of 1 by 20 is equal to 1 minus 6 k plus 10. That is equal to 6k is equal to 11 minus 20. That makes it 6k is equal to minus 9 and k is equal to minus 9 by 6 making minus 3 by 2. So value of k in this scenario is minus 3 divided by 2. So what happens is they have basically used uh, remainder theorem to find out unknown value. Right? Done? Yes, sir. Okay. Chale. Iske kuch questions mein aaj aapko bhi bhej deta hu. Thik hai? So, just for your practice. For remainder theorem. Tomorrow we are going to do this, uh, discuss uh, factor theorem. Okay. Okay, sir.